Welcome to TTI. Today we're listing some amazing and unusual engines which really do exist. These custom vehicle engines are so fantastic, they're seriously amazing and worth tons of money. Number one, the Rotec Radial Bike. When motorcycle enthusiasts say, loud bikes save lives, I don't think they're imagining the Red Baron, an insane two-wheeled machine powered by an actual aircraft engine. It is seriously a beast. It's a monster, a truly crazed marriage of sky and land. And as you may have guessed, it's also incredibly loud. German thinker Frank Ohl spent 18 months bringing the Red Baron from concept to reality. It's not like you can just pull the engine out of a regular bike and pop in one of these things. Just about every part of this bike had to be customized to make room for the Rotec Radial R3600, a 150 horsepower nine-cylinder engine. The Rotec R3600 is more commonly used as a replacement engine for World War I era warplanes. It was even placed in a SOP with Camel, a vintage biplane first introduced in 1917. One place you wouldn't expect to see an R3600 is revving down the highway with a rider on its back. Number two, the Shockwave Jet Truck. The world-famous Shockwave jet truck may just be the baddest, most impressive jet-propelled ground vehicle on the planet. Shockwave is a triple jet engine-powered truck that currently holds the Guinness World Record for the top jet truck speed at an incredible 376 miles per hour. Streaking and screaming down airport runways, Shockwave races airplanes that are flying above it at over 300 miles per hour. Airshow fans jump to their feet to watch this mind-blowing performance as the flame-tipped semi scorches the runway. Spectators are guaranteed to feel the heat, smell the smoke, and feel the roar of those thunderous turbines as Shockwave tries to outrace its opponent, a speeding airplane. And while you're on the airshow grounds, spectators are even able to meet the driver and get a close-up look at the power of the beast, which are three jet engines that produce a total of 36,000 horsepower. According to Chris Darnell, on acceleration, the driver experiences about six Gs. We then stop the beast using two 16-foot ring slot military parachutes, which produce an impact of up to negative nine Gs. It's truly some ride. Number three, the 24 chainsaw engine motorcycle. This is no ordinary motorcycle. This baby was constructed by the German comic writer Roger Feldman and is powered by no less than 24 Dolmar chainsaw engines coupled together with a five-speed Harley-Davidson transmission. When you combine 24 chainsaw engines, you get a whopping 1900 cc, which is 170 horsepower and a blistering top speed of 161 miles per hour. For use in the bike, also known as the Dolmete, the engines were tuned and tweaked to deliver 5.2 kilowatts of power or 7.1 PS at 10,000 RPM. The maximum torque delivery is 5.5 Nm at 7,750 RPM. When all 24 are combined, the result is a 24-cylinder power plant with a total displacement of 1.9 liters and a combined power output of 125 kilowatts and 130 newton tons of torque at the centrifugal clutches. 12 engines are mounted in two rows of six on either side of the belt casing. Each engine is held in place by means of two threaded studs that normally serve to secure the chain bar to the chainsaw power head. The individual motors are coupled together in sets of three by means by a double-sided drive belt, making up eight modules in all. The individual engines aren't rigidly connected. Instead, they deliver their torque through the centrifugal force clutch, which is a standard of every chainsaw. Number four, the 24 V71 Detroit Big Mike engine. Coming in at number four on our list is the Detroit Big Mike engine. Mike Cara, the owner of a real estate company that's been pushing the boundaries of the business world since the 70s, brings the same approach to his custom autos. And in this one, we're covering his custom Peterbilt 359 semi. This big rig with an engine known as Big Mike pushes over 3,400 horsepower and is held together with a 40-foot chassis. It's powered by a dozen blowers and 24 cylinders, thanks to two V12 engines, and can easily be the highlight of any power freak's wildest dreams. This beauty is the largest motor ever to be built for a semi-truck. Yeah, that's right. This is the same engine that goes in the custom Peterbilt 359. This beauty is nitrous powered and it truly deserves the title of the baddest truck around. An Allison transmission is used to move the beast with the engine sitting comfortably in the front of the truck. Number five, the 48 cylinder Kawasaki. Each of this vehicle's 48 cylinders comes from a Kawasaki KH250 triple put together in six rows of eight cylinders each. These rows are all effectively individual straight eight cylinder engines with their own crankshafts. And yeah, you thought right. 
six crankshafts, all geared together and running into a single BMW shaft drive transmission. In fact, the bike is really a 49-cylinder monstrosity, since it has a totally separate 75cc single-cylinder engine under the seat that's used as a starting motor. Created by Simon Whitelock of Red Dog Superbikes in Potter's Bar, the 4200cc two-stroke holds the Guinness World Record for the most cylinders on a land vehicle. And yeah, let me tell you, it's a runner. Number six, the Bacterial Spores engine. A car that runs on bacteria? It might not be quite the kind of car you're imagining, but a team of researchers has successfully developed a rotary engine that's powered by bacterial spores. The way it works is that a spore grows in length as it soaks up water out of the air and then shortens due to evaporation. To harvest the energy from those natural movements, biophysicist Oscar Shayan and his colleagues at Columbia University glued spores to both sides of these small pieces of tape, shown in yellow. The team then carefully arranged about 100 pieces of the tape around a wheel-like scaffold and encased it in a moist outer shell that covers half of the structure. After that, they mounted it on a toy-sized car that's around the weight of a small apple. Their contraption, reported in Nature Communications, propelled the car, albeit at a whopping speed of less than four inches per minute. Subscribe for more.